Kimi K2 just dropped for Moonshot AI, and yes, they're claiming it's a 1 trillion parameter beast that nearly beats ChatGPT in every benchmark. Bold statement, right? But we don't trust hype, we test reality. So today, I'm running every single example OpenAI showcased in their GPT-5 announcement, but on Kini K2. And you'll see with your own eyes whether this model is the future or just marketing smoke. This is Pursuing AI, and you're watching The Research Report. Let's find the truth. On the GPT-5 introduction page, the first example was the Rolling Ball minigame. And honestly, it's impressive. The game name appears, there's a scoreboard, a best score tracker, a speed option, and even a working sound toggle. You can mute or unmute with a click. And when you hit the pillars, a pop-up shows game over, your current score, best score, and a retry option, like a polished game. By the way, I'm not really good at this one, but somehow my best score is 306. What about you? What's your best score? Comment below. Right below that demo, they shared the exact prompt used to generate the game with GPT-5. So I copied the same prompt, pasted it into Kimi K2, and by default, K2 was selected. So let's run this. Kimi K2 starts writing code. I hit preview. At first, it looks okay. Scoreboard, high score, and the ball jumps on click. But after a while, issues pop up. No proper game over system, the speed keeps increasing uncontrollably, and the pillars are half buried in the ground. No game over logic present. So Kimi K2 failed this test. And then I ran the exact same prompt on GPT-5, and the result was spot on score, high score, and a proper game over system working flawlessly. Next is the pixel painting app with pencil, eraser, fill color, grid hide and unhide, undo, redo, and a color palette, all working in the GPT-5 example. I copied the prompt, ran it on Kimi K2, and at the same time on ChanTBT. Both generated code. Kimi K2's UI appeared, but tools didn't work. No pencil, no eraser, no fill, nothing. On the other side, ChatGPT's result worked. The pencil painted, fill applied the selected color, the canvas responded smoothly. So again, Kimi K2 fails here. And look, it's open source, which is great, but for a 1 trillion parameter model to miss a basic working HTML app? Also, most of us can't run this locally. Anyway, my brain wants to tap out, but I'll try one last test. The virtual drum kit. Multiple pads and sound tones, volume control, record, play, and clear. This time, I won't copy OpenAI's prompt. I wrote a long and detailed prompt with every instruction and ran it on Kimi K2. Side by side, I gave the same long prompt to ChatGPT. And surprisingly, Kimi K2 passed. It generated working pads. I could increase and decrease volume record and play my music and clear it. When I click record, yes, it captured every step, a correct app without issues. So that's my research for today. If you loved it, subscribe, like, and comment your best rolling ball score. This is Pursuing AI, and I'll see you in the next deep dive.